Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Got a little treat for you today. But in the meantime, if you don't mind, subscribe. Now you wonder what this picture is. Well, it was actually taken June 21, 2010. This is my first trip to Negros. And we get the slideshow started. Uh, this is my first experience on a, um, a ferry. I've uh, We actually rode the bus to the ferry terminal. Trying to get that quit uh, popping up. That's on board the ferry there. This was a small ferry, by the way. This is uh, taken on the uh, east side of Cebu. I forgot the name of the town. I can't pronounce it for one thing. And this is some of the family on board. We're going to Negros uh, to visit Grace's grandmother. And it's also Fiesta time. That's Grace. <laughs> God, it's hard to believe it's been 13 years. <laughs> but I found my hard drive. And it's a one terabyte hard drive. I bought about 13 years ago. It's a Toshiba hard drive. And I'm surprised it still works. And I'd actually stored a lot of pictures on this hard drive. Now, the little camera I was using at that time was a little Sanyo that I bought at Walmart. And my daughter bought one identical to it, and they dropped it and damaged it, but I salvaged the battery. So I had two batteries for it, which was a lot of benefit to me. Yeah, those are, it brings back a lot of memories to get to see these pictures things that me and Grace have been through, experienced. You know, when we came to Negroes at that time, that I've been here roughly six months, a little over. And uh, I'll just be honest with you, we were on a strict budget at that time because we'd spent so much money with immigration and so forth. Uh, I think I had uh, about $150 uh, left for the, to finish the month out. So we were very limited on funds. <laughs> it's amazing some of these kids are got families of their own now. Uh, the little kid there in the seat there, he's grown and working for a cell company. He actually is one of the tower uh, installers. They install cell towers. And you're looking at the back of May Lynn there in the pink shirt. That's May Lynn there. It's hard to believe she's 23 now. She's actually working in Cebu for... A prestigious company and you know, okay she ain't got the big salary yet but I think she'll be okay it's Geraldine and her brother and it's uh, Grace's uncle's wife uh, both of their kids are uh, one's one's got two kids already and the other one has uh, got a fiance uh, they're both going to school uh, to be, um, I forgot what they're doing. They were here back in the summer, uh, back last month, uh, not last month, the month before. It's a tr tradition to come here every June and for the fiesta and to visit family. That was an experience riding the ferry to me. <laughs> then when I see these pictures it just amazes me how quickly time has rolled off oh you're frowning at me <laughs> it's 
stolen pictures, as she would call it. <laughs> if you I don't know if you noticed it or not, but there's a motorcycle sitting up there that they actually carried on board because this is not actually a vehicle carrier. I remember them carrying it on board there that a motorcycle is. And that's Teresa. She's in, uh, living in, still living in Cebu. She's got a son and a live-in partner. That's Geraldine. Uh, amazing how much these kids have changed. Now this ferry here is going to the old port of Cahulian, which is no longer open because I think it was two or three years later there was a major earthquake nearby and it damaged the pier, so they built a new one. And we, I don't know who that guy is. I think he's some lost soul somewhere. <laughs> Yep, you can tell it. He's lost. So the, he, did, he don't know where he's going. <laughs> oh, memories. They're going down memory lane. And I think that's a dolphin. That's her grandmother's house. We arrived safely. I had a motorcycle ride from the port. It stuck over an hour, about an hour and a half at that time. The roads were rough and bad all the way. Uh, I didn't get no pictures on the motorcycle ride. Uh, three of us on the bike, a little 100cc uh, Honda. This is my first Filipino experience in the out in the jungle, as they call it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Grace's aunt in a tree. <laughs> we went over there and we got some fresh pineapple and so forth, because you know. Uh, they know I enjoyed pineapple, so I got to experience fresh picked pineapple that day. That's the mountains there. That's the view, uh, similar to what I got here at home now. Uh, of course, there's a few more houses now compared to then. Including ours. And these banana trees and so forth, it's my understanding at that time that uh, they actually belonged to Grace's grandmother. She had banana trees and mangoes and so forth. That's Grace's uncle, Jin Jin. Grace's mama. And naturally, Grace again. <laughs> yeah, those eyes, that's what I fell in love with. She had those captivating eyes. Oh, I, I can't remember what kind of tree this is. I see the fruit, but I can't make it out. I have a hard time recognizing different trees. Uh, I do recognize the mangoes and grapefruit. But when it gets to the others, it's uh, the smaller fruits. Uh, I have a difficult time. Oh, 
I don't remember now that I can't remember the name of the fruit though. It's actually a, I don't know how to explain the taste. <laughs> it's kind of bland, but tart at the same time. It's, it's unique. And I'm not mistaken, I think that tree still is there. But this is my first experience here in Negros. And that's me being silly. <laughs> As you can see, I was still carrying my passport around. I didn't know I didn't have to have it. I had it strapped to me. I had a pouch that it went in. <laughs> Uh, I still hadn't adjusted to the heat, by the way. <laughs> I said I was acting silly. And that's a mango tree there. And those are banana trees. Uh, I think they were planted. Uh, I don't know when they planted them. Boy, I'll tell you what. Time chore flies. <laughs> My first experience in Negroes was, uh, it's hard to explain, uh, to be out in the uh, province, as they call it. Oh, that's the first experience I had with cashews. I had no idea that's how cashews grew, and they had a fruit, and no clue. <laughs> I think this is one of Gracious Cousins' places uh, across the river. I remember right. That's their dog at that time. I'm sure he's probably history by now. Well, folks, uh, roosters. Yeah, you got to always have to have your roosters. Uh, near Fiesta, they do have uh, the rooster fights here. They got roughly three days of festivities, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Grace's cousin's uh, place across the river. And this is a picture taken there at her place. Looking at some old photos there, they were. Well, folks, I appreciate you taking time out and spending a few moments with me. If you don't mind, subscribe. So, until next time.